Well, Friday night football for many kids means a night spent on the field or in the stands. But for one Council Bluff student who has cancer, that's not possible. Joe Chioto shows us how this girl's classmates are cheering on her fight. It's acute myeloid leukemia. It's a fast-acting cancer. Some things in life happen so fast you never see them coming. For 15-year-old Autumn Sullivan, it was cancer. I can't control any of it. It's just what my body's doing. Diagnosed in July, the Thomas Jefferson Jr. is instead spending the start of her year at Children's. I was up here 70 plus days. And this is a day where it hurts the most. It was our homecoming game okay. and they fundraised for me. Last week, Autumn was released. Things were looking up. She was supposed to join her friends and go to her junior year homecoming game and pep rally tonight. Or should we hold her up with that one? In fact, the school dedicated it all to her. It's my birthday's on the 12th, so I'm, I had like a bonfire set up for my friends. But just a day before the big game. <sighs> it's really frustrating. Doctors told her she was too sick. She would have to come back to Children's and stay here which is when nurse Anissa Hoy I made a few phone calls yesterday decided to do something else. Like where exactly is her room? That Autumn would never see coming. Let's get out of your bed because I think there's something out your window you need to see. F-I-G-A-C fight! Autumn fight! This homecoming pep rally hey, Autumn fight! 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 wasn't just for her but a few stories below her hospital floor. They came to you since you can't come to them, sweetheart. In less than a day, nurse Anissa recruited cheerleaders, Autumn's best friends, and her sister, who all jumped on board. Oh, hi, Audie. Thank you. Giving Autumn not just a chance to smile, but for just a moment, go back to being a kid. Oh, I was so shocked. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm so happy that they did that. Mm -hmm. That cheer got me. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Proving some of the things we don't see coming can actually end up hey, beautiful. <laughs> being the best. With photographer Nick Bohan, I'm Joe Chiodo, WWT6 News. What a wonderful story. Autumn has gone through two rounds of chemo so far. She's also undergoing blood transfusions and spinal taps. We wish her the very best.